two at the time. <laughs> I don't know, Grant, who? Matthew Mendoza, <laughs> again. Again, Matthew, what the heck, man? You've been playing this game since last November. It's been 11 months. You should know what the cards do by now. <laughs> I want to know how many times he's gone to time prior to today. I don't know, man. I mean, he did play Dooku Jabba in Awakenings, and that was... That deck went to time almost every every chance. That's true. But, uh... We got Jeremy and, and Matt playing on stream right now for the top four cut. We're doing single elimination. Jeremy is playing Sabine, Rebel Trooper, Ezra, and Matt is playing... E Dooku, E Voss. Yeah. Quinlan Voss, man. Uh... Not a character you see very much. When I first saw him, I was really not excited, and I was not impressed. But when I saw him in action, I was definitely impressed. Yeah, Matt definitely focused in on this combo earlier. That you're you either you have this dual threat of Quinlan Voss's special combined with Mind Probe. Mm -hmm. So what he does is he he runs Temptation in his deck, so his opponent can draw cards if they want. Or they can give Matt resources, so he can hard cast big upgrades. Yep. And uh, what that does is it, you know, it makes it so that Matt can, like, if they give him two resources, he plays a mind probe, rolls it out, and they just drew two cards. That's two more damage that they're taking. Yep. Uh, because of temptation. Or they give him resources, and uh, or no, or they let him draw two cards, and, and then he hits uh, with the boss special. Yeah, then he hits with the boss special. So. Um, a very interesting combination. Uh, so Jeremy is running a uh, single die Sabine, single die Ezra with uh, Rebel Trooper. So Jeremy's uh, he was playing uh, Elite Nupo with uh, Rookie Pilot and Rebel Trooper, uh, a pretty explosive. It's a trap deck that pretty reliably did eight damage uh, on turn one. And uh, so it's interesting to see him go down to a three dice deck. I'm not sure where the inspiration came from, especially since so many people are playing. Uh, Elite Sabine, uh, Elite Ezra. Uh, maybe he was worried about Kylo, so he wanted a little bit of um, red splashed in there, or maybe he thinks maybe he just wanted the maybe field. he just wants the field medic or the guardian. Yeah, I mean um, it gives him a ton of survivability when you account for dug in uh, field medic. And, and Sabine's fast enough that you're gonna be able to claim, right? Probably. Especially, especially against the, the Dooku Voss deck because it does play slow. So, yeah, one of the things though is that Sabine will cycle through. Can cycle the Sabine decks can cycle through cards really fast. So Mind Probe won't be an issue, but Voss's special could be. Yeah. So this is the top four. Uh, our players are rolling out, choosing the battlefield. Um, this is top four. Uh, the players have opted to do actually a single elimination rounds. Um, I mean, it is a Sunday, and uh, we don't want to take up uh, all of their time. So uh, we did offer them the, the option for uh, best of three, which Trey usually complains if it's not best of three, but um, he was he was fine with it today. So I think Trey's got all the cards he could want. He's probably just doing this for fun. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, so Jeremy's playing. Hold out blaster on Sabine. Fast hands coming down on her. Good start. Uh, Matt plays meditate, I believe. No. Oh, dark presence. Yeah. So, thanks Matt for moving your stuff over. Probably, prob just, probably inadvertently, but. <laughs> Ezra is loving that special today. So Matt needs to spend his resources if he doesn't want uh, Jeremy to steal one. I mean, even with the Guardian, though, if Matt rolls well, if he rolls a blowout round, he could still almost one-shot two of Jeremy's characters. Say that again? I said even with the Guardian in effect, Matt could blow out one of his one of Jeremy's characters in a single roll. Hey, he could roll eight damage. Right. Especially with, uh, th oh my goodness, look wow. at the starting hand. Two holocrons <laughs> and a four speed. Give me those wins. I know Matt plays, uh, he's been playing Power of the Force. He didn't originally have Power of the Force in his deck, but after we saw him play the Dooku Voss deck on stream the first time, uh, he had six upgrades, or five upgrades very reliably. And uh, look at that, uh, three damage, a Holocron special, and a force, uh, force Speed special. No big deal. 
<sighs> just drawing extremely, both these players drawing extremely well with uh, Jeremy getting the holdout, the fast hands, and the running interference. Yeah, I'm sure Jeremy was feeling very confident until he saw both four speeds, or both holocrons and the four speed. So this will be good to see, um, you know, both both players drawing their best and Matt, you know, just rolling very well. Yeah. Jeremy did get that. That special is huge though, because now he gets the special. Now he now he gets the resource, and he can use it for control or heal or whatever he chooses. I mean, that special is easily Ezra's best side. Choosing to deal damage though, interesting. I think Voss is the right choice here for Jeremy because once Voss goes down, it slows Matt down, his damage output down so much. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Voss. Voss's dice is not quite as good as Dooku's, I don't think. Well, just the way that Matt's deck is built, though, around Voss's special. That is true, but I don't know. Sometimes I still like uh, going after Dooku, uh, no matter what deck he's in, just to put the pressure on my opponent's hand and force them to discard crucial cards at certain times. Did they forget the damage on the Guardian? Uh, it looks like they did. Oh. Uh, no, Jeremy's grabbing it. There we go. I was just thinking, it's tough making some of these decisions. You know, you want a four speed special, you want to do the Voss with it. You, I mean, he, Matt's sitting on three special sides. Well, Matt's only got one card in hand at the moment, so Voss's special is turned off. True. Which is another reason I like going for Dooku is that I, I think you can play around that Voss special enough. What do you think about Matt's choice to just go for the Guardian? Uh, I like it. Uh, get him out of the way. Takes away any spot red cards Jeremy might be running, like uh, Logistics. I don't think there's really any others that uh, Hero Red has. Can you think of any spot, spot of red character cards for Hero? No, not right off the top of my head. Or even neutral ones. I can't think of any other neutral ones besides Logistics that he would run. I wish Matt had a force power. I think it's obvious at this point he didn't draw one because he sat on that uh, holocron special for two turns now. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm not sure what's in his. Maybe he's waiting. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm not sure what he's got in hand. I think he's thinking if he wants to discard it though. So he's got a four speed, isolate, and claim. claim. Yep. So and who's he gonna? So he's gonna shield up boss. Yep. Makes sense. I mean, that's the one that you're going to go for. Yep. So now that Jeremy has another dice on the board, he's got some blowout potential. He could deal se seven damage. No, more than that. He could deal nine. If he god rolls. Who could? Jeremy? Yeah. Yep. And Matt... Does he, he he does get a mind probe, so that will be very crucial. Um, Finally getting that force power he's been looking for, and a balanced ambition. So Voss's special could be very relevant um, oh, yeah. when Jeremy doesn't expect it this this turn. Gets two focuses, too, three focuses, so. oh, so everything he needs. Yeah, he's gonna be seeing those Voss specials for sure. If Jeremy cycles through his hand. Um, so Jeremy has uh, another fast hands. Uh, X8 sniper. Thermal paint. Oh. Electroshock. And I'm not sure where that fifth card was. What do you think? Overwrite the holdout and then play the holdout from hand? Or from discard? Uh, yeah, that's probably that's probably a good play. I think, I think Jeremy's trying to think through how he can most efficiently use his resources because he does have the thermal paint which costs one and that is a constant one damage a turn uh so jeremy's gonna flat out play the x8 sniper interesting no resources gonna roll in get the fast hands but now he's stuck with two dice with pay sides so resolve running interference so Matt can't activate a character. 
two resources and a shield. Not what he was wanting, I'm sure. We'll see if he decides to fast hand something. He could fast hand that, that shield onto the Rebel Trooper, which would keep the Rebel Trooper alive for at least one activation, because all of Matt's dice do two damage True. at the moment. Rob says, focus Holocron to get kind mo probe out. Oh, mind probe out. Makes Jeremy want to use hand them boss special that is pimp. Yeah, you're true. <laughs> so Matt dropping Dark Council. So power of the force on a one for four. Seems pretty good right now. Yeah. That's such, that's such an underrated card. Oh, yeah. I mean... Typically, you don't god draw like Matt did with the double holocron four speed t opening, but. He didn't get a force power, so he didn't god draw. That's true. C got close, though. <laughs> Dark Council is an, a really underrated card. I think it should be in just about every villain blue. Another uh, thing that makes the desk really strong is that Dark Presence that Matt's got down there. Um, both Voss and Dooku have a discard side on their die, so you're going to pretty reliably roll a discard side, especially between when you add in a uh, Mind Probe to the mix and um, Force Push. I think he's running Force Push as well. Uh, he is. Also has, a, ha also has a discard side. He's running Force Push, Force Throw, Mind Probe, and one other, I believe. Psychometry, I think. Psychometry, interesting. Mm -hmm. Just to yeah, draw it to fuel his hand for uh, boss's specials. I can't. He might have actually taken them out for the force throws instead. Taking out the psychometry for force throw. Yeah, I could. I could maybe see that. I don't know. Uh, I think psych psychometry is one of those cards that, when you look at it, your imme your immediate thoughts are, "I'm gonna throw this in the garbage." Yeah, that's true. It's but. just so expensive. Why would I play that over on the hunt? Yeah. Um. But I mean, when you add holocron into the mix, it becomes really good, and when you have a reason, uh to draw more cards like uh, with Voss. So Matt resolving double holocron specials gets out a mind probe and a force illusion. Gonna roll in the mind probe. So he's looking like he's in a really really good spot. I mean Sabine does have two weapons on her and the fast hands. Yeah she's gonna be start doing some nasty damage here soon. Yeah that's one of the things about the uh, Elite Sabine Elite Ezra deck is that it will just survive long enough until Sabine God rolls and one shots a character. Yeah. So Matt focusing to the discard. He has a Voss special, which um, Matt has four cards in hand. Uh, so that will be a four damage special from Voss. And Jeremy just saying, I don't care. Yeah, pretty much. And rolls very well. And I don't think Matt has anything to control. Uh, but he will be able to force illusion. The at five, least three. Yeah, I don't know. I I might go for Dooku uh, right here because Matt would be forced to discard some cards, which would reduce the damage he's taking from the Voss special. True, and that's what he does. He chooses to put it on Dooku. But don't forget, Matt has the balance ambition. So Matt can discard, but he doesn't have a resource. Oh. So Matt can discard two cards. Uh, to only take three uh, instead of five. No, it would be four instead of uh, six, right? Because Sabine's got a three. I think it's three, four, five, six. Oh, I thought that was the two on Sabine. So Matt, Matt's just thinking. And this could have just swung the game pretty, pretty hard. That, that good reroll from Jeremy. I don't know. I mean. I don't think it's that huge. I think it swings the game in the sense that he's Jeremy's going to keep a character alive. Which, you're right, that actually is, in fact, huge. I think you take the discard and kill the Rebel Trooper right here. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Just deal the two damage, finish him off, get him off. Yeah. So, yeah, Matt, Matt came out of that... Okay, he was able to finish off a character at least. 
Yep. You know, it wasn't going to be four damage, and then Matt plays the holocrons back down. God. So, Power of the Force is about to do some serious work. Yeah, either focus, six focus, or six God, discard, he or... It. He gets it! First, he gets two of them! He gets two of them! Man, Grant, you are... Dude. You are excited, man. <laughs> Dude, he's just true. He's got six upgrades, two use of Power of the Forces in his hand. Yep, so... Insane. That could be whatever he wants. It could be six resources... Six discard, six oh damage. Oh my god! Matt's gonna blow someone out! So, yeah, we'll see what happens. God, I hope we get to see a one-shot. I mean, we have we only had ten players here today, so... The players have kind of gotten an opportunity to scout each other's decks. Yeah. Um, so I think Jeremy has to be... He has to be expecting the Power of the Force. And I, I haven't seen uh, Friends in Low Places on his side yet. Which is... When you have two yellow characters, it's almost an auto include. Yeah, I agree. Using smuggling to discard. Um, he's thinking about it. Uh, oh, maybe I don't want to do that. I think he wants to open up. He wants to have that third resource to potentially hyperspace jump. Yeah. If he needs it, um, Matt's got so many dice. He's gonna need it. But Jeremy just has, has just as much blow up potential as Matt does. I mean, like we said, he could roll out three, two, two, and another two. Still, still has mass damage on the board. So Jeremy plays uh, running interference. <gasps> so he has four discard right there, which he'll probably happily do right oh, now. Oh, easily. And Jeremy doesn't have. So if he wants that hyperspace, he, well, I mean. He's going to get rid of it with those, all those discards. Matt is about to put, output a ton of damage. We're going to see a feeling. some nasty, nasty things. So, Jeremy's going to infamous. Probably Electroshock, um, the Mind Probe. Do you Electroshock the Mind Probe discard, or do you Electroshock the two damage? I would, the Mind Probe. Uh, I don't know. You, you know it combos with Voss. And you know he's going to discard cards anyway. I would be really afraid of the Voss combo. The Voss special? Yeah, with the Mind Probe. More so, so than the... So you get rid the, yeah. of the two discard and you shut down the Mind Probe Voss combo. Yeah. I think that, that would be a really good play. But it looks like he's choosing to activate Sabine and add Thermal Paint and then spend it. And he's going to give it... Ambush with Infamous. So that will deal the damage to one of Matt's characters. Mm -hmm. He's going to exhaust running interference so Matt can't activate Voss. And he, Jeremy's going to have an ambush action to resolve a die. So probably just going to take that. Is that a 2 or 3 damage on Sabine? It's a 2. So do you still keep going? Uh, I think you you keep you go for Dooku. You know, weaken that Voss special even more. Yeah, I think so as well. Do you, if you're Matt, do you blow out Ezra, or do you just go hammer for Sabine right now with these sick rolls and upgrades he's got and cards? Oh, just could, go for Sabine. I think he can kill her this turn. Yeah, I think he easily could kill Sabine this turn. And um, the crazy part about it is that Jeremy has no idea. I mean. He's just looking at discards and I mean, two he might. He, I mean, he might. Like we said, the I think or, I mean, Matt. Since Matt's games went so long, true. Yeah. Um, everybody had a chance to see what he's got. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, Jeremy was standing there, you know, watching him and Trey play their last game. True. Um, Jeremy does decide to, in fact, fast hands the damage. Oh, so swaps back to Voss though. So Jer Jeremy actually discarded the thermal paint to deal an additional damage to Voss. Yeah, he got the so show. So Matt uh, dumps Jeremy's entire hand. God, that's so that's so nasty. So the problem is well, Matt, Matt doesn't have that resource for the power of the force play. Well, Matt can force speed and roll in Voss. Well, and yeah, but Ezra has fast resource. hands, and Jeremy oh. has no cards in hand, so he's just going to take what he got. Yeah. Dang it! 
Yeah. I wanted to see that so bad. I mean, you still might. Um, Dark Council has a resource side. Voss has resource sides. And oh, oh, he gets a focus, though. It's not bad. So, I wonder... What do you do here? Do you... I probably focus to a resource and start re-rolling. And then, if I need to, balance ambition. Does he have the balance in hand? Yeah, he still has it. He hasn't used it. Would you oh, use... Actually, I think... I, I believe I see it right there underneath the overconfidence. Yeah, he's got a power of the force, and his cards are tilted too much. I can't... can't Maybe see. just focus the Voss special, then, to just get the four. Well, I think he's still got five cards in hand. He hasn't played anything this turn, has he? I don't believe so. So it would be five damage. Chooses to go for the resource. Jeremy passing, I believe. Matt gaining two resources. Jeremy's going to disrupt one. So, so he, he does have a... It looks like he has a force power in hand, so he could get out... I think it's a force push. And I think he played another dark, either Dark Presence or Meditate. What's stopping him from just using the use the power or power of the force? He might want to roll out that force push. I don't think so. I think yeah. I think you just so go he's going to power the it. force and deal six to Sabine. Just like that. Incredible. One yeah. resource for six damage. Yeah. <laughs> so strong. Yeah. And the way Matt's built this deck with all the cheap upgrades, he can easily get it out. Yeah, it it's definitely a deck that I want uh, like I want to see it played more cuz I think it has a lot of potential. Yeah. Looks like we're going to see Matt go ahead and use the for the Holocron. Oh, man, I wanted to see blow out. I wanted to see a dead character this turn. So it gets a force push. So man, Dooku is stacked. Yeah. Force speed, force push, mind probe. Jeremy's gonna not be feeling great right now. And he's still got that other power of the force in hand. Yeah, so he could still do it again. So Matt's probably gonna just take that resource. Money is always good. He could have gotten greedy, I suppose, and tried and he, to get damage. He, he but... could play this dark council here. But I, I don't know if that's worth it. Yeah, he probably wants a different upgrade. A second force push maybe on Voss. Because or... I don't know if another Dark Council is worth it at this point with all the focuses you have between force speed and Dark Council and all those good shenanigans. So Matt gets an isolation, a meditate, a force throw. Two force throws, I think, and uh, the, that power of the force still. So we're gonna see another six damage, easily. You know, unless or, you roll or, all or, disrupt. Or, or six focus. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. He could six focus into. Four speed into six focus. Uh, oh, oh man. <laughs> yeah. Four speed into six focus. He could focus all his character dice into two damage and then mind probe into a special. It would be dirty. Matt has so many combos he can get off right now. I mean, yeah, both of his characters have some serious damage on them, but if I'm him, I'm not worried about it. Did Jeremy draw a second chance? I don't think he did. <sighs> he has uh, Thermal Paint, Drop Zone, Loft Cat and Mouse, and a Smuggling. So he overrides the... Did he override... Yeah, he overrode a weapon. Yeah, he played the uh, holdout blaster. And he's going to exhaust uh, running interference so Matt can't play a card. I don't know about that. I think I would. Hmm. Chooses to get thermal paint back. You think he would, what, stop him from rolling in maybe instead? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, mean, I haven't played with running interference enough to... I mean, I've played with it, and there's definitely instances where you can disrupt your opponent effectively in a turn. Right. Um, like, if they're down to zero cards, you can exhaust it and resolve a die, and they have to pass. Or, right. Um, just, like, little things like that um, to speed your deck up and slow theirs down. 
Jeremy just slowly taking away at Voss. Not trying to do any big damage because of that Force Illusion. But I don't think Matt was planning on uh, playing a card anyways. He was probably just going to roll out Dooku. Yeah. Get that Mind Probe in the pool as soon and as possible. And the Force Speed. Yeah. I mean, again, just like last round, Matt could blow out a character easily. Even if he just gets the one, that's a six. <laughs> yeah, I just hope Matt doesn't get tunnel vision into, into using a Voss special this turn. Yeah. I mean, if if Jeremy keeps cycling through his hand like he's doing right now. Right. So. Jeremy doesn't get anything he wants. And just rolling five damage. No, six. Six damage right there. <laughs> oh, that's a dead Sabine. That's, that's actually. Sabine. That's actually. Six. Nine. That's actually 11 damage if you include the power of the force. So he's going to lock out thinking he's going to save himself, and then Matt's going to just power the force him for six. Yep. Because he takes Sabine to one, and then he just kills her. Yep. And it's a single die Ezra with, with a holdout hands. blaster. Hey, fast hands, man. Come and on. a holdout blaster. Yeah. That's brutal. And Jeremy thinks he's probably in a good place right now. You know, he, th he knows it's close, but. I mean, if he had second chance. Oh, this, yeah. So, you got a Lothcat that three, probably. Oh, yeah, I think so. I think that's I think that's the obvious choice, is just getting rid of the three, the most damage. I mean, there, there are certain points in the game when uh, you want your opponent to pay for those pay sides, but Matt's already got three resources, yeah. so... He's going to be able to do yeah. whatever he wants this round. Especially since... Jeremy didn't so roll this Matt's going to be able to force speed, power of the force, deal the extra damage he needs to Sabine to kill her. Yep. Which he needs to do right now in case Jeremy had a, a second chance or something. Here we go. So power of the force to deal six, and uh, looks like that's it. That's a scoop. So, man, that game swung really, really fast. Yeah. Um, Matt drew uh, very well at the start. So many upgrades, just overwhelmed his opponent with dice. Yeah, I, I mean, Jeremy didn't just didn't have enough removal uh, to handle the... He didn't get the removal or survivability he needed. Yeah, no second chance. Um, I didn't see a single field, field medic come out. He had one in hand at one point, I believe. At the very beginning of the game, I think. So, um, it would have been nice to see that deck do a little bit more... Um, like we saw with the Elite Sabine, Elite Ezra. Yeah. Um, and, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's just one of those things where Matt drew really well. <laughs> Rob says Fast Hands on Ezra isn't nearly as good as Fast Hands on Mez. And maybe that's just one of those things where, where Matt drew uh, so well that Jeremy, you know, there was nothing he could do. Yeah. And he rolled pretty good. Uh, I think Dooku hit damage on his dice almost every time. Yeah, Matt. Or, or discard, damage or discard. That's... And that's what that's what his deck wants. Exactly. I mean, you couldn't ask for much more out of Dooku. All right, guys, we're gonna check out on the second game going on between Trey and Desmond. We'll be back at probably what 5:55. So there's 10 minutes left in the round. Um, uh, yeah, we'll we'll check on the game. We'll probably be back uh, a little bit sooner. Um, I don't anticipate their game went overly long. No. Um, they're actually probably finishing up. Uh, so stick with us, and uh, we'll be right back.